Tri-Valley League is committed to the highest ideals of sportsmanship and establishing a healthy environment for interscholastic competition. The league will not tolerate negative statements or actions directed towards competitors, game officials, or fans in attendance. Please respect all decisions made by officials. Please respect fans, coaches, participants, and opponents alike. Thank you for helping create a positive, respectful, and fun and And now for tonight's lineups. For the Medfield Warriors, starting at guard, number two, junior, Rabi Armani. Starting at guard, number 11, senior, Zach Conroy. Starting at guard, number 14, freshman Jack Goodman. Starting at forward, number 32, sophomore Aiden Clark. And starting at forward, number 20, senior captain Christian Higgins. The Warriors are coached by Herb Grace and assisted by Mike Mason. And now for your hometown, Hopkinton Hillers. Starting at guard, number three, junior, Stephen Maffiori. Starting at guard, number 10, junior, Tommy Ambersoni. Starting at guard, number 21, senior captain, Michael Puvacad. Starting at forward, number 25, is senior, Mac Lind. And starting at forward, number 24, a senior captain, Brendan Kelly. The Hillers are coached by Tom Keen and assisted by Chris Banks. Now would you all please rise for the playing of our national anthem. Good evening, everybody. This is Steve Spector along with Mike Tarosian here at the Hoppington High School Athletic Center for another uh, Hoppington High School uh, boys varsity match. We have the Hoppington Hillers against uh, arch rival Medfield Big Blue. So, uh, Mike Tarosian, good to see you again. We just feel like I just we just did this. Yeah, we were just here. Absolutely. Yeah. I love every time we take on one of those M towns, and there's <laughs> nothing like the Medfield Warriors coming here. The Big Blue. And uh, the Hopkinton really looks forward to their matches every time. Absolutely. And they get the North Carolina blue. Uh, you know, even from my younger days coaching my kids uh, in youth sports, uh, always a big rivalry. They, between they just missed the little Tie Hill hat. That's all. That's all. But uh, <laughs> Medfield coming off uh, in the middle of a kind of a tough stretch for them. They're like one and eight. Right. And uh, Hoppington four and two overall. And uh, Medfield with a six foot six center. Uh, Aiden Clark gets the jump ball. And Medfield with the ball now. Christian Higgins, captain. Turnaround, no good. Mafiori with the ball, bringing it up. And Brissini working the ball around. Wide open three pointer, no good. Mafiori with the miss. And we have a foul on Michael Puvacot, his first. And uh, Hillers, uh, as they do oftentimes, they'll start off with a full court press to get the game going and set the energy. And there's a steal right off the bat. Puvacad. Oh, nice move by Mafiori. Puvacad with an open three, no good. Nice tip. Macklin, no good. 
Oh, he's out of bounds. No call. Wow, that was strange. Clearly out of bounds with the yep. ball between his legs, and he carried it with him. So, yep. so they they eventually got it right, Mike. So they did. I, I know you can. You know, you don't, slow. Have, you don't have to jump off the perch here and let let everybody know. It's not, but. It's not that close yet. <laughs> Medfield in a 2-3 zone at the moment. Hiller's working the ball around. Down low into Brendan. Tough shot. Oh, roll and it gets his rebound. Top. Another block. Aiden Clark disrupting things down low. Six foot six. Hiller's will have to deal with that tonight. Oh, cross pass. Dangerous pass. Oh, very nice play. I think you're going to see a lot of... Uh, Height versus strength with Clack versus uh, Kelly. Absolutely. R Robbie Armani, junior forward with a nice uh, bucket. And steal by Medfield. Higgins, the captain, with a steal there. Oh, nice spin move. No good. Macklin. Hiller's coming off a good win last uh, Friday night, I guess, against Dedham, Mike. That was a good game. That was a very good game. They uh, played strong throughout the whole time. And again, showing, showing off their press for the first half like they always do. And, uh, and they just dominated the, the entire game. Absolutely. Dead not being able to hit a single uh, free throw practically. <laughs> That's true. I think they got like two or three of them. Yeah, they had a tough time. And the free throws are And they had enough chances. They were in the double bonus. Uh, of the, uh, I think it was the second quarter they were in the double bonus. Exactly. Well, free, free throws inevitably are a subplot to most of these games here. Sure. I think they call them free for a reason. Here we go. Medfield uh, trying to break the press. Shot by Higgins. No good. Kind of launched it from the right side. Puvakad looking for, oh, beautiful, beautiful Thread of the needle, Puba got down to Brendan Kelly, who's notorious for creating some opportunities down low. Nice shot off the high off the backboard. Oh, nice move by 14. Jack yeah. Goodman, a sophomore. If everyone's going to work around Sorry, that. Sorry, freshman. If everyone's going to work around that backboard, it's uh, Kelly. Kelly is. He, he knows all sides of it backside, front side, <laughs> top side. He's. He finds that backboard, and he knows how to use it. Yeah, he's a physical player, and, um, you know, it'll be interesting to see how that matchup, you know, uh, hap, you know goes down t tonight with uh, him battling this Aiden Clark sophomore, six foot six, so uh, not as bulky as Brendan. Ooh, that's almost a foul, and I guess it is. Yeah, it was. Coach Keen uh, encouraging the, his Hillers to play with their feet, and Matt kind of climbed, climbed over the back there, picking up his first foul. 2-2, two, two, 4.52 left in the first quarter. Oh, nice. Good hustle. And it's a hill ball. Right, there you go. Brian Keith getting some good playing time this year. Kind of created that, uh, that turnover and still 2-2 two, two ball game after halfway through the first quarter. Oh, nice recovery. Oh, boy. Oh, gave the travel was on the floor. Ooh. That's uh, funny. The ref the ref that was so far away, he called that one, the one right in front of the uh, Elon Rosen. Elon just chose not to call that. But those are those are tough ones, uh, those travel calls. Very subjective. Hiller still with a full court press. Keith up front, causing some trouble. Oh, there's a tip. Wide open three, no good. Ambersoni with the rebound, looking to thread the needle. Oh, good, good steal by Medfield. Robbie Armani bringing the ball up. Zach Conroy. Oh, nice swish. Medfield with a 4-2 lead. Timeout, Coach Keen. Not liking what he's seeing. Only yeah, it's, it's, not, it's not a huge lead, but it's enough for him to say it's time to make an adjustment here. Exactly. And, you know, as I said it, to, to open the, the broadcast here, Mike, Medfield, not a strong team, but, you know, uh, I, don't, I haven't seen the scores specifically, but they've been giving up 
much more points than the than, than uh, the Hillers. Like sure. uh, 62 points a game on, on average, uh, giving up where the Hillers are giving up 49. Right. And right now, midfield, a, 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 a really effectively, you know, early on, it's essentially a tie game, 4-2, whatever. But uh, not much happening on offense for the Hillers. So, so yeah. Coach Keen. Well, hey, we go from <laughs> green. To look at the student section. We go from green. Uh, the last week to white tonight. So someone actually got the memo, and it is a whiteout night. It is a home game, and he's in his uh, winter. Uh, he looks like a goat. I, I don't know. I'm not sure what that is. Is that we'll for have goat hunting? The other one I think is for duck hunting. But We'll have to get clarification on that. Maybe at halftime we'll do some some research, or maybe you can – you know everybody around here, Mike, so you can figure that out. So, But anyway, back to, back to the action. Hiller's coming out of a timeout looking for a hoop. Medfield switches to a man-to-man -to, -man to shake things up. Hiller's adapting to that change. Ten seconds on the shot clock. Nice move, nice block. Got to get the ball up. Three seconds. Wow, nice little spin there. Aiden Clark. Not only he's got some height, but he's got some reach. And he's got a nice touch, too, Mike. That's 6-2. Medfield, Aiden Clark kind of having his way right now. That was pretty form on that last shot. Medfield probably hungry for a win with their one and eight or one and nine record. I'll have to verify that. Short, Macklin short. Hillers don't have uh, any mom any flow in their right. offense right now. The, the shots aren't going down for them. Oh, nice pass. Almost a travel. Hillers look a little confused on their man defense here. Well, Medfield's moving the ball pretty well, keeping their composure. Um, Coach Herb Grace been... Lots of experience dealing with situ different situations, so he, he must be, be somewhat frustrated with his uh, record, but I'm sure this is an opportunity for his boys to uh, come into the athletic center. Sure. And, you know, they, they desperately need a win, so right now that's, uh, they're having, having their way. 7-2 to two. Medfield with 2.38 left in the first quarter. Robbie Armani on the line, and he misses them both. Or me, he might, I can't remember if he hit the first one. But Medfield, uh, no fouls on Medfield. Hoppington with three fouls in the first quarter. And they could use a hoop. They could use a big three right now. And they sh Medfield shifting back to a, a active 2-3 zone. Yep. Nice dump in the middle. Oh, a little too much mustard on that one, Kelly. Yep, yeah, looked like the ball was tipped. Last Friday night, Mike, uh, Brendan Kelly and Mac Lynn had a, a lot of uh, underneath like that kind of stuff. Yes. Um, that particular pass was from Ryan Kester. Kelly had at least three from behind the backboard that he was able to, to uh, turn into two. Wide open three, and it's good. Medfield coming out pretty hot. Zach Conroy. Senior forward. Brendan looking for some. There you go. That's his game right there. Just kind of slicing yep. down the baseline. A couple good hoops by the, the Hillers in the last 45 seconds. Sandwiched uh, around a, a Medfield hoop. Yeah. Medfield able to work through uh, Hopkins press pretty uh, easily. In and out. So here you go again. Let's see if they go for another two for Kelly in the middle. Keith and Kester are working the ball around. Oh, nice down low. Kester wide open. Big one. Pretty three there. Ryan has the ability to heat up. We could use a little bit of that tonight. Ooh. Oh, a couple extra steps there, no? No, I guess not. It looked, uh, well, you know, it looked like he lost his footing going to the hoop, Mike. Sure. But this Rob, Robbie Armani, a junior forward, six foot one, but he's a 
lengthy arms. He plays a little bigger than that, kind of like a Kevin McHale type arm length there. And he's, he's, a, he's a pretty slick player. He's got some good moves and some sure speed. Does. He's having himself a nice game so far. One minute, five seconds left, 11-9 Medfield at the moment. Armani with probably four or five points already for Medfield. Yeah, left. Let's see if Hopkins goes for the three. Skip pass. Mm. Good idea. Good rebound. Pubacar trying to battle. Oh, nice steal by Kester. 34 seconds left in the quarter. Mafiori off the Kester. Kester again looking for another one. Oh, too bad. Brendan Kelly, big rebound. New shot clock. 15 seconds left. Oh, there, that's a big hoop right there. Huge hoop. Tying things up. Mafiori. Four seconds left. I don't think um, Armani knows that. Well, that thing's leveled off a bit there, Mike, at the end of the... Very nice to see it level off because I tell you, Medfield came out so strong here, beating the press and uh, being able to come out ahead of Hopkins. Now, Hopkins, you know, has adjusted, tying things up. Let's see what uh, period number two gives us. Here you go. And we have the beautiful killer cheerleaders going to take over for a minute. Yep. There you go, TVL chips, Hill of Chair leaders, love them. Um, no, no hoop band tonight, so we just have to talk a little bit. That's a, we can fill it's some space. We, we can talk about 1970s uh, sitcom <laughs> uh, trivia, you know, the Brady Bunch, Partridge Family, we can get into that kind of stuff. Get off no, Sifra's side. You, yeah, can fill, you can fill in some of the things that are going on at HCAM TV. <laughs> <laughs> Lots going on at HCAM TV. Tons and tons of programming. A lot of sports. A couple of new shows coming up. That's always exciting. You guys do a great job Love over there. Doing it. Love to be able to keep doing it. Uh, tonight on our other channel over on HKM uh, Television, uh, Channel 8 Comcast and 30 Verizon is the Selectman's meeting. And I don't think many people will be leaving this show to go to that. <laughs> well, the Hillers are uh, finishing that quarter strong. They were down 7-2. to two. Oh, there's a turnover, unfortunately. And there's another turnover. Oh. Good recovery by Medfield in that. Good tip, tip ball by Ambrosoni. Hiller's finishing that quarter with a 7-2 to two run. I know it was, they tied things up. They were down by five or six points, and then they, they ended up tying things up at 12-12 to end the first quarter. So Medfield has the ball underneath the hoop to start the second quarter. Hiller's in the 2-3 zone. Tough D. Deep three. Wow. Aiden Finn. Like he planned it. Beautiful shot there. Brendan Kelly. Oh, too bad. Oh. He's been getting a ton of unlucky Beautiful. bounces off, the, uh, off that rim. Nicholas Hines. We saw him last Friday, Mike. Last he, Friday. Had a, he had a, he, brought, he was like an energizer bunny out there. What, what did he get, 12 points in that fourth quarter? That's not exactly <laughs> a, good, a good analogy because he's about six foot six. But, but uh, he really heated up at the end and that brings a lot of energy. And that was, sure did. he just completely stole that rebound. That's too bad. Oh, and we have a block against the Hillis. And uh, as I was right on cue, uh, Nicholas Hines got a foul on himself. He was working Shoot. so hard. <laughs> yeah, stop talking about these yeah. people. It's uh, yeah. <laughs> five five fouls for Hillers, only one for Medfield. So Medfield will be probably in a one and one situation in, uh, not too long from now. And there's a sixth foul. A little too assertive a little there. Push. <clears throat> there we go, a little push there. Matt Fiori uh, with his first foul.
Aiden Finn working the ball at the top. Nice, tough shot. Left hand. Yeah, that was good a good idea, but I think he was wishing for that one. Another wide open three. That's a good shot from Afiori. He can heat up too. Yeah, he doesn't miss too Oh, nice by Brendan. Good hustle. Oh, too bad now. A little back cut. Yep. Got some substitutions coming in now. Kester Keith and Rosen all in. Almost a travel. Oh, sweet little layup there. Aiden Clark's got a few back buckets. Having himself a pretty, pretty solid game right now. For Medfield, they're up by five points. Rosen looking for some daylight. Not there. Oh, just touched the line with his toe. Good idea of Elon Rosen uh, nudging the, the baseline. Hiller's in a full court press looking for a turnover and Medfield breaking the press pretty pretty well. Nice block nice. by Rosen. Rosen right on top of that ball. Sweet move by Amber Sony. That's a big turn of events for the, the Hillers, just momentum-wise. Uh, first bucket of the second quarter for the Hillers. Almost a foul by Matt Fieri. He's got to be careful. Nice block again. Oh, great block. Woof. Aiden Rosen making his presence felt a little bit here. Gonna disrupting shots, blocking shots. Ambrosoni hitting some big shots. That was a pretty layup. That, looked like, that looked like a Dave Cowan's layup to me. It was a lefty. <laughs> a lot of lefties on the on the Hillers, so that's for sure. A lot of lefty guards. Yep. Hillers all of a sudden climbing back in, tightening the lead down. 17-16 timeout by Medfield coach is. Uh, feels a momentum switch and I feel it too. Sure. I don't know about you, but I mean they're bringing it to within one point right here and it's like yeah, they want to stay ahead of this momentum. They don't want them to the hills to catch up. Yep. The hill is uh, adjusted. They're getting the hands on the ball. Uh, not creating too many turnovers, but yet they are causing some fantastic blocks that the rebounds um, uh, the rebound team is there uh, collecting collecting those. Absolutely. So, you know, like last week, it was a turn. It was all about the turnovers. This week, it's all about the rebounds. There you go. So far, so good. The Hillers are uh, have themselves a tight game here, and uh, Elon Rosen, two consecutive blocks that led to two consecutive Tom Ambersoni layups that are uh, I wouldn't call them easy buckets. The no, they were, nothing was easy. Took it up st There's strong. There's nothing easy tonight. That second one was a down the lane kind of kind of a runner off the backboard. And uh, Medfield coach Herb Grace could feel the momentum uh, shift, and it wasn't in his favor, so he decided to kind of regroup his troops. Well, let's see what kind of changes happen here after that well, little Almost a up. foul by Keith, but good, good recovery. That's a travel. Yeah, way out of balance. You should have stopped at the top of the key and set up some offense. Yep. Robbie Armani having a good game. He's got some speed and quickness, and he lost his footing a little bit and got called for the travel. They got to swing it. They got to oh, swing nice it. recovery. Hiller's keeping the ball moving. 14 seconds on the shot clock. Thread the needle. Nice block. Launched it. Air ball. His first foul on Christian Higgins. Over the top. Haven't heard much hit from him uh, tonight so far. But tonight he's young. Oh, nice play. Nice right in the... Oh! oh. How did that not go in? 
Rosen up up high, could almost could have dunked it out. Tough shot. Armani. Uh, great block. Oh. That's a great block again. Sure was. Elon Rosen, that's a for all intents and purposes, that was a block. That's his third block in the last about a minute and a half, two, two minutes. And it's providing a good spark for the Hillers. Oh, nice. That's an oh. Yeah. <laughs> back a, Drew was not Drew Back was not ready for that one. <laughs> it was like, why are you throwing that in my face? Looked like a nice uh, idea on the, on the play. The execution didn't quite work out. Wide open, Ambrosoni. Back rim. Three on one. Nice block again. Ambrosoni with the block, but Aiden Clark picking up the, the rebound and jumping it in for a bucket. Hiller's trying to work work around this uh, very uh, very um, aggressive zone, moving around. Ten seconds on the shot clock. Well, ball tipped out. Armani with a tip. Hiller's have a seven second uh, sec seven seconds to get a shot off here. Three fifteen left in the half. Nineteen sixteen. Medfield. Three-point launch by Mafiori gets his own rebound. Oh, it just touched the line. Wow. Boy, I didn't see that. I didn't see it either. You know, if he was all by himself, I really wasn't looking. Yep. You know, why Why would you think Can we get a witness so over there? Yeah. I don't know. Can I get a witness? Oh, that's <laughs> one of the cheerleaders at halftime. Hey, tell me what that That was a close one, but must have sure nudged the line. That was almost a travel. Yep. I'll oh, there's a steal by the Hillers. Good recovery. Mac Lind. Brendan Kelly almost to travel. Kester launches a three, no good. Nothing. <laughs> I was going to say, but. <laughs> Matt Fiore trying to figure out a way to keep that ball in bounds. He had already stepped out, so. Certainly got a tight game. Oh, there's a steal by Puvacad. Oh, there you go. Beautiful play. Oh, oh too bad. Matt Fiore kind of had to adjust his shot. Yeah. It's awful when you can't finish like that. Drew back, moving the ball around. Armani looking for an opening. Off midfield. Medfield's got a lot of 6'2", 6'1", 6'3", 6'6", 6 feet. A lot of uh, overall height. Uh, Hillers. Also have some height. It's a little, uh, they have a little height. more they have varied. Some, they have some strength. <laughs> and, um, I, I'm just wondering if it's a little of the uh, quickness that they're not used to, this Medfield Warrior team. Well, so far, Medfield uh, playing with a little fire in their belly, probably really hungry for a win. There's a nice shot by Kester. Pretty, pretty three-pointer. We've seen Rats Ryan second of the night. Floater. Metfield certainly well schooled in breaking a press. Nice block oh. by Kelly. Kelly was up in the air and he saw him oh, go low bad. and he, he just put his head down. That was nice. Steven Mafiori taking a breather and Ambrosoni coming in. Mafiori giving a play and is all a couple tough tough plays there, back to back. 1919 Hillers uh, tying things up. 144 left in the first half. Got ourselves a ball game here, Mike. Sure is. It's nice when it's like this here that we don't have to fill up with a whole bunch of <laughs> other stuff. Hillers forced to turn over there. 
Robbie Armani. He, he's a nice player. He's a little out of control. Uh, and, you know, don't, not to be too critical of the. Right. He's a. Uh, I'm sorry. He's a junior, but he's got good game. He's a, had a couple turnovers, just kind of losing control of the ball. And there's a second time that happened for him. Hiller's looking for a, a down low to Kelly. Looking. Oh, another foul. Taking it up strong to Aiden Clark. That's. Uh, let's see if that's his second or. Th that's his. I'm sorry, that, that one's on Drew Bach, his second foul. But good strategy for Brendan to take it up strong. All right, you should be able to make these two. <laughs> Drew Bach uh, coming off so he doesn't pick up his third foul. Number 15, Teddy Ariel coming in, 6'3", sophomore. Brendan, no good in the second one. Mac Lind with a rebound. Woo. That's a big swing right there. I tell you, that's three points the old-fashioned way. Absolutely. <laughs> I like it. And there's a one-on-one -one situation uh, with the Hillers picking up their seventh foul of the half. He's going to go against uh, Puvica. Yep. Yep, Mike Puvacad with his second foul. Got a one in one situation. It's like Zach Conroy on the line. He hits the first one. Puvacad coming out. And Jacob Cohen coming on to finish out the first half. He's, Jason's. I'm sorry, Jacob has a lot of energy when he's out on the floor, so let's see if he can help him get another bucket or two before the half's over. Kester could use another three from him before the half's right. over. There it is. Mm. Cohen with a nice tip. 47 seconds left. 22-20 Hillers. Armani shaking and baking. Nothing going on for him there. Tough, tough D. Mac Lynn shutting him down. Cohen taking up strong. He's got his, yeah, he was looking for that foul. Nice. That's the way to do it. Jacob Cohen coming in, uh, providing a spark. Picking himself up a couple free throws. It's a good idea taking it up to the hoop. Not the easiest thing to no. be kind of coming off cold off off the bench, and but that's a big hoop. That's really Huge. big. That's, a, that's quick. Making the most of his time on the floor, yeah. and maybe we'll see more of him in the second half. But nothing like a quick spark to end the first half, change the momentum in the second. That's that's big. Two free free throws, giving the Hillers a four point lead with 30 seconds left in the first half. Tough D. Shot clock is essentially off. Tough hoop by Armani. He's had a few hoops amongst a few turnovers this half. You know, 14 seconds. Take your time. Make it count. Kester looking for Cohen. Might have to launch it. Got too bad. Coach well, Keene not, not too thrilled with that, the execution at the end. No, he did not. He, he was not happy with the last 30 seconds there. So, yep. you know, I, I tell you, you know, Hopkins, they, they're going to beat that 2 3 zone of uh, Medfields there. Medfields have no problem with the press that uh, Hillers keep putting on. So, you know what? Let's see what uh, happens at halftime, uh, the second half. But let's see what the Chaley is going to tell us first. That sounds great. We'll, uh, we'll have them take us into the. Halftime break, and uh, for Mike Tarosian, Steve Spector will be back after the, the halftime, and we'll see you in the second half. Thanks.
Did you know there are other ways to reduce your pain besides taking medications? For example, mindfulness. I'm Dr. Mike Guidi, a family medicine doctor based in Essex County. I use mindfulness techniques with my own patients during office visits, and I'm here to tell you how you can prevent addiction. It is a way to train your brain to manage pain. Reducing your pain through mindfulness could mean you need less medication or a safer type of medication. It can also help you reduce your stress and recover from past trauma. That means you become less likely to develop an addiction, whether opioids, alcohol, or any other substance. In brain research, we scan people's brains before they start practicing mindfulness and after they've been practicing it daily for eight weeks. We see actual changes in the way their brains are wired. We see those people drawing more on their judgment and reasoning skills, resulting in safer behaviors. Massachusetts has great resources about effective mindfulness techniques. To find out more, go to massmed.org. And we're back here at the Hoppington Athletic Center here. Mike Tarosian along with Steve Spector and our awesome staff here, John Ritz and Mary Arnott on cameras, Tom Dings and Samantha Dings producing and doing graphics tonight. And I'm here with, again, Mike Tarosian, usually doing some directing, but stepping in. Uh, stepping in, sort of fill like it in, give it a little color, as much uh, color as I can possibly give. That's No problem. You're doing, <laughs> you're doing a great job, and it's always Thank fun. You. We'll keep it light here. It's a lot uh, of fun. Not a, not a heavy lift to do these games, but a lot of fun, definitely. Of course not. Of course and uh, Hillers, 4-2 and two overall, playing uh, midfield. I, 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 it's either 1-8 and eight and, or 1-9 and nine overall. And right now, Hillers with a two-point lead going into the second half. And Medfield playing with some pride. They're very hungry for a win. And the Hillers... If you, I was talking to Mary before the game, and I was saying this, this has the potential to be a one-sided situation, and it's right. been anything but that. So you can, again, I'm wrong. Happens every once well, in a while. Yeah, none of us expected this. We all expected the one-sided. This, this, this Medfield Warrior team does not look like a one and eight team. No question you about know? it. That's, that's another wow. travel. That's Unlucky. a good, good start by the Hillers. 15 seconds in, we got Mafiori hitting the three-pointer, and then Robbie. Armani with a walk and coach Herb Grace with a timeout after 15 seconds to start the half. Obviously, something got a little under his skin, and that might have been just their lack of. Yeah, I, th I think he saw a change in the Hillers that he did not plan for. So I think he just said, hey, you know what? Let's correct it now. You know, we can't he have these kind of little mistakes all the time. Let's correct it right now. Absolutely. So the Hillers. Uh, Great start to the second half. Got a long way to go here. And the other thing I was saying earlier is uh, I, I missed my dinner, and my, my beautiful wife Donna has this incredible tuna casserole waiting for me. I was hoping it was going to be my pregame meal, but it's going to be now my postgame post -game. meal. Postgame. So, uh, You're going to have to stay up a little later because you don't want to go to bed right after like a tuna casserole. No, I don't no. mean to be just get distracted. But I guess I yeah. am. But right now we've got a, got a five-point lead for the Hillers. The I was hoping Donna was going to show up at halftime with it. Well, I can text her. <laughs> Let's see. Wow, Matt, Matt Fiore. Holy cow. Steven Mafiori, two three-pointers in the first 15 seconds of the of the half. Looking for another one. He's feeling it. Wide open. Brendan Kelly looking for a – there it is again. Oh, <laughs> Mafiori feeling it. Why not? If you hit two three-pointers sure. in 40 seconds, why not keep it rolling? Nothing wrong with trying for that third. No, we'll hold that against you. Oh, nice move by number 14, Zach Goodman. Freshman guard. Brennan Kelly shutting things down underneath. Almost a steal by Mafiori. Not, nothing there for Armani. Good D. Getting a little frustrated. Armani forcing a few things up here tonight so far. Oh, nice. Under, underneath Mac Lind. Nice play by Christian Higgins. Swatting. Oh, too bad by Michael Puvacad. Good idea. Christian Higgins, the captain. Not, not a whole lot of offense going on, on, but that was a heck of a defensive play. Blocking Brendan Kelly's shot underneath from behind. No foul. Oh, Looks like a foul on 
It was Maffiori on a hold. Called yep. him on a hold, away from the, the ball. Court. Almost a walk again by Armani. Almost out of bounds yeah. by Goodman. He came in just in time. Oh! Great. Maffiori putting the pressure on. You know, Maffiori, not the, not the tallest player on the on the court, but he's playing with a big heart and just caused a, a turnover, the, shutting the shutting the, uh, the lane down, and Metfield just lo losing the ball out of bounds there. Feeling it. Steven Maffiori with his third three-pointer in the first two minutes of the second half, and a, almost a steal, yeah, and another he's one. In. He's in for the layup. Oh, man, that's got a timeout. Yeah. Yeah, you think 11 points for Maffiori, you think it's time for a uh, timeout? Wow. I think so. That's got to be one of the biggest stretches, best stretches of his high school career right there. 11th uh, it's junior junior guard, 11 points in, in less than two minutes. is like Reggie Miller from the 1991 playoffs Oh, my in New goodness, York. yes. <laughs> I don't know, I'm dating myself. I go back to these. Oh, yeah, you go way back. Yeah. Not as way, as, way back. Not as far back as I do, but. No, I think it's the other way, but who's kind of. Is it? Yeah, right? yeah, we're close. We're so close. But all of a sudden, Hiller's taking a 24-22 halftime lead and all of a sudden extending it to 35-22. No points for Medfield. 11-0 run by Steve Ma Stephen Mafiori, all Mafiori. And, uh, geez, let's listen. This is let definitely his quarter. Don't, don't see that too often by any Hiller player, 11 points in two minutes. So right. This is the kind of lead we expect to be going into the half, you know, nice 13-point nice lead at halftime when you're uh, going up against that 1-8 kind of team. But Medfield did not come out like that 1-8 team. They beat the press. They held, uh, they held the Hillers with their, uh, with their defense. But now, bam, new life second half. Let's go. Yeah, this is a little bit what, more what we expected early on. Medfield not doing a, oh, there's a steal by Kelly. Oh, that's oh. too bad. Nice and easy. Oh, nice almost recovery. stepped out. Oh, Ambrosoni, nice move, but no good. So close. Yeah, that's going to be a reach. Christian Higgins got some speed going up, going up uh, the court and Drew a third foul on Mafiori, so we'll have to keep an eye on that. That's a pretty big development when you score 11 points and pick up a third foul early in the second quarter. Uh, third quarter. Nice pass to Kelly. Wow, and he still kept it going. I expected him to put the brakes on and jump up, but he played that sweetly. That's a really nice. A oh, tough shot by Higgins, no good. Metfield needs a hoop. They're down by 15 points all of a sudden, very quickly. That's 15 straight points, or th 13 straight points for the Hillers until that bucket goes down for Higgins. Get some substitutions coming in for the, the Hillers. Hillers, oh, nice move by Puvacad. Mac Lind, no good. Oh, <laughs> Mafiori with a really good idea. Yeah, he stuck in there really, really well. Don't want to have him get his fourth foul. I bet you he's coming out just a precautionary. Yeah, I think Metfield would like to get that foul on him right now. Brendan Kelly with a reach there. Looks like uh, Kester, Rosen. And Keith all coming in. Mafieri, hopefully he'll just take a short rest and won't cool off because he's smoking hot right now. Sure is. Amber Sony bringing up the ball. Oh, almost a, almost a walk, a Euro step. That would have been a walk but when I was in high school, but that's a Euro step. Two points for Amber Sony. Higgins. Taking it up strong. Elon Rosen with a body contact foul there. His second foul. Hiller's four fouls this half, none for Medfield. Four minutes, 18 seconds yeah, left. They, they led in the first half, too. 
But uh, let's see if they can control it, keep it down. Don't get into any bonus problem. Nicholas Hines coming in for Kelly. Hines uh, bringing, always brings a lot of energy. You'll see if he does that again here. Line drive, no good off free throw, 0 for 2. Hiller's outscoring Medfield 15 to 2 so far this quarter. Nice block by Medfield. Kester launches one. Whew. What was that sound? Was that was that a swish? That was a swish sound that you just heard, Mike. Yeah, that's what I thought. Well, that's out Ooh. on us. Good hustle by the Hillers. I think Medfield might have caught a break there. Huh? Wholesale changes. There you go. Yep. Coach Grace just trying to shake things up a little bit. 42-24 Hillers. Things got away from Medfield really quickly. Oh, what misses the oh. bunny? Oh, you could have asked for anything more free. Yep, I agree with you there, Mike. You and I both could have hit that one, but easy, easy to say from up here. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Oh, when I was their age, I could. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Let's clarify that. <laughs> Almost a steal. Nice recovery, Ambersoni. No good off the board. Redfield looking to respond in some way. They've got a little ways to go now. Down by 18 points. That was quick. I'm on Kester. Kester, his first. Yeah. Ryan's had a solid game, hitting a few three-pointers. Jacob Cohen coming in with three minutes left in the third quarter. He had a big uh, lot of hustle in the last minute of the first half. Got a couple free throws, which was uh, actually really big momentum shift for them, yeah. helping the Hillers go into the halftime with a little momentum. Three-point launch, no good. Big rebound. Nice move by Cohen. Wide open, Keith. Woo! Wow, that was so pretty. You know, things can be contagious both ways. Free throws, everyone hits their free throws, everyone misses their free throws. Everyone's hitting their, all the Hillers are hitting their three pointers this, this third quarter. Yeah, yeah. This is definitely not the same game we just saw in the first half. <laughs> That's an offensive foul, oh, absolutely. Yeah. Jacob Cohen taking one for the team, kind of, it's quite the collision there, but Jacob's, Jacob can handle himself oh, down yeah, there. Tough, tough scrapper. That was a full, full contact. Oh. Wow, that's a heck of an athletic play by Cohen to not travel. And then a good recovery. Wow. A lot of close plays there. Living on the edge, so to speak. Almost a travel. Ah, it was a travel. Yeah. Medfield down all of a sudden. Was it what was it? A two point deficit is now a 21 point deficit. Things have imploded a little bit here. Medfield only with two points in this quarter with 140 left in the third quarter. Another three. Keith feeling it. No good. Still a good shot for him. Three point launch for Teddy Ariel. Sophomore forward, six foot three, hitting the three pointer. They probably, yeah. oh, that's oh. too bad. Oh. A little mental error there by the Hillers. Redfield looking to take advantage. Oh. 
like a jump ball to me, but I would have called a jump ball personally. But definitely, yeah. Jacob Cohen getting on the score sheet again with a second foul. Or I guess his first foul. Yeah, it's first, yeah. Medfield looking to get the ball in. Matt Fiore coming back in. He's got three fouls. Here's a steal by Cohen. Good time. Nice sleep. Nice play by yeah, Cohen. Automatic. Finish. Great finish. You know, he's got some speed and quickness. Quickness to got the got the steal and he, he beat the Medfield player down for an easy bucket. He's got four points tonight. Wide open. No good. Nice box cool. by Cohen getting the uh, too bad. Oh, ran out. Kept the ball out. Kind of ran out of real estate coming up the sideline here. He did his best to keep it in. He, yep. he didn't have any room, but he tried. It's good to see Jacob getting some good playing time in this third quarter. Hillers with a 47-27 lead. Quick implosion on the part of Medfield this quarter. Oh, my God, yeah, 23 points against five points for this quarter. And an explosion for the Hillers, a barrage of three-pointers. They've got five of them this quarter. Nice job by Lind with a rebound. There it is for Brendan. He might have six of them this, this quarter, actually. Puvacad, easy bucket. It's like the parting of the Red Sea there. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good analogy or not, but I'll take it. Wow, I tell you, what a way to start the third quarter with Stephen Mefiori, 11 points. I mean, that was a 25, 25 to 5, to 20, five. 25 to 5 quarter, so yeah. that's, that's a great way to uh, get, get the momentum going their way, and we'll take a break to listen yeah, to the Hillers. Yeah, let's see how the Chili's uh, do. Chili's take it over again. By the Hillers, bringing some good luck. I tell you, it's uh, they're looking good. The Chile is looking good. A uh, little small squad for the uh, winter time, but uh, I think they look fantastic. Absolutely, they have got a uh, the history along with the Hiller Sports. The Hiller cheerleaders have uh, lots of uh, state championships under their belt. Sure, yeah. I mean, they just look all over, all over this uh, gymnasium, and I don't know if John Ritz could pan it. If he looks real quick over to his left-hand side, he's got all those beautiful new uh, flags hanging up over there. The state championship golf team, the uh, South Sectional Champion football team, the state finalist volleyball. I mean, it's it's fantastic. Love it. Rich tradition here in Hiller, Hiller country. We're going to need more walls. Yep, there we go. You're right about that. We have the beautiful uh, photo, the marathon photo of a series of, I don't know how many thousands of photos, but John Copley to our right. That it's one been was here for the... Mafiori with a... Pretty layup. Easy bucket. That's 13 points in the second half for him already. Yep, the uh, the photo to our right is the men's start from uh, the 2000 marathon, which was all the kids in the Hopkins school system that when this school opened in 2001. Wow, that's, that's right. all those kids. So that photo is from the 2000 uh, start marathon. And over on the uh, left-hand side is the women's start from uh, 2000 and uh, let me get the year right. Was it 2015? I think it was the 2015, which was the town's 300th anniversary. Oh, right. Exactly, exactly right. And that is every kid in the school system uh, for that year as well. And that's the, the women's stat. And John so, Copley of Hoppington. John uh, Copley was a phenomenal, that. phenomenal guy. I remember when he got his first little camera. He says, oh, I think I'm going to start taking pictures. And the guy is just an all-star. Covers every single sport in this town. Good play by Jacob Cohen. Taking it strong. Draws, draws a foul. Well, uh, John, John 
uh, has a daughter, Michaela, and yep. it's ain't great as my daughter, Olivia. So we got to hang out with those guys growing up with all the basketball and soccer games, the great memories. And everyone, a lot, a lot of, a lot of families have some, some of those memories growing up in town here with all the, all in, the, in all the athletes, in all the athletes, uh, when it comes graduation time, he loads up these portraits in this library here for them to all get, and it shows them all their sports from youth it's to amazing. varsity years to senior years to whatever. It's just, it's incredible the work that uh, he does for this, for this school and the community itself. Absolutely, great asset to the staff. As you are, Mike. Well, yeah. I'm I just, don't care what they say. They, I'm just you, one of the you, few. You were doing a heck of a job. One of the few. Medfield, back to the game. Hasn't been a whole lot of action uh, this this quarter. Each team with a bucket, or two points each this quarter. Hiller's holding on to a 51-29 lead. I would say holding on. They sort of extended it a little bit that last quarter. And we have... Evan Sazitsky inbounding the ball in for the Hillers now, and oh, Cohen loses the ball. A little sloppy there. Shot no good. Nice job by Mac Lynn. Ellis Spar in the game, making making a nice play there earlier. Good to see Coach Keen uh, using his whole bench when you have a little bit of an opportunity to absolutely. I don't know what that call was. That was either a. I didn't see the hand go. I just saw the, the direction. Looks like it might have been a carry or a travel of some kind there. Nevertheless, a turnover for the Hillers and uh, Medfield bringing the ball back. 6.25 left. One of those rare turnovers for the Hillers. Yeah. Long three pointer. Very pretty. Jack Goodman, freshman guard, five foot ten, launched it from the parking lot. That was almost at the yellow line, almost <laughs> at the volleyball line, which is probably about a twenty-six footer if I had to yeah, measure it. Yeah, at least. Oh, nice job by Cohen. Szyzinski taking it up strong. There you go. Nice like work it. by Evan. Good job by Evan hustling. Nice. There's a foul. Great play. Very unselfish too. Nicely done. Evan Szyzinski. Senior guard. Yeah. His brother Zach had some great games here. Zach was great last year. Nice family. Abby Rosenberg. Yep. One of the founders and organizers of the Sharon Timlin 5K road race. Yep. Evan, Evan did some broadcasting here last year during the boys game for us. Oh, there you go. We have the, I want to say the 16th annual Sharon Timlin 5K road race. Sounds about the, right. For the Angel Fund that's raised money for ALS research. Abby and Dave Kruger do a, an amazing job and everyone else in that in that group of volunteers. Yeah, with the money they raised towards that Angel Fund, incredible breakthroughs uh, since I've been involved. And there's a right on cue. Evan Szyzinski hits the nice runner up the lane. Beautiful shot. Medfield launching it. Key for the rebound. Szyzinski feeling it again. Not this time. Yeah, the Angel Fund has come a long way. Big strides, a lot of money keeps being raised, and, and uh, every year you just hear of some kind of new breakthrough to uh, help defeat that uh, awful disease, yep. ALS. Um, and it, it's, I've always been honored to do what little I could do to help. I mean, from advertising their events, uh, publicizing their events, making commercials with our friend Lou Maloney, did that way back. And sure. then, I tell you, it was, it, it, it's just an honor to be just what little bit of involvement. I'm glad I'm part of it. Absolutely. Uh, I feel the same way. My band, Hot Acoustics, gets to play every year, every year there. It's a, totally an honor there, and you get to... It, it, I don't know what it is, Mike. I don't want to jinx it, but every every year it's about 75 degrees and sunny. Yes. I don't know how. <laughs> nice nice move by Key. Oh, wow. That Brian, was some old-fashioned board work there. Brian Keefe, sophomore guard, high off the board. Not an easy shot. Had to get it over the taller medfield players. 
Goodman no good on the three-point launch. Zach. I want to say Zach, but Evan. Evan, yeah, he looked at rebound. Let's see if he finishes. Nice dish. Oh, too bad. Good idea. Oh, that's a late, well, very late call. And then he stepped the on the line. A yeah. delayed call, if you will. Yeah. But not really going to have an impact in the game more, more than likely with a 21-point lead for the Hillers. Yeah. Nevertheless, good hustle. I think it was Rosen who um, must have nudged the line, according to the ref, but it took about two seconds for him to call that. Goodman, another three. That's his three, his third three-pointer that he's taken. He's hit two of them. Yeah, that's definitely a foul. <laughs> Little uh, extra aggression yeah. down there on the court, which is to be expected when you have this kind of uh, pull away that the Hillers have had. But Keith, uh, nice, t nice take to the hoop. Hillers looking to get the ball in. That's that's too, that's that's okay. Yeah, that'll it, work. There's no half court out of Ellis Spar, junior guard with a ball under control. Spar launches it short. Nice job by Cohen. Cohen is everywhere. And again on the line, he was did it, he wasn't given much room by uh, by Anderson. I don't know if Cohen plays football, but that was like a free safety play back there. Kind of <laughs> picked it off, picked off the pass kind of thing. I don't remember hearing his name during the broadcast. Yeah. I'm, sorry. But he, he, I'm sure he could probably play that position. Long three. Nice pass. <coughs> Nicely put away by Spa. Nice delivery. Had to thread the needle on the pass there. It's like three-point launching time here, Mike. Everyone's launching threes. Everyone's but giving away, yeah. Here's a three-pointer by, by Medfield. Cohen taking it up strong. Oh. Tough shot. Oh, and it finishes it off. Gets his teammates off the bench. That's a heck of a play. I tell you, you know, he was just a half a step away if he called for a travel. I mean, but uh, that was pretty. He's doing a good job tonight. He's got about six or eight points at least. Probably his eighth point, if I had to guess. Nice rebound by 15, uh, Teddy Ariel. Curler's a 17-point lead here. 2.49 left. Keith looking for some daylight. Nothing there. Spar taking it up strong. Almost goes down. Feeling it. Jack Goodman with his. He's taken four three-pointers this quarter. Hit three of them. I'd say game's not quite over, but no. Jack Goodman. Keeping the door ajar for his midfield teammates with three three-pointers this quarter. Cohen feeling pretty good, too. Nice crossover. Spar feeling it. No good. Well, well. Oh, good idea. Medfield trying to do the give and go. Wide open three. No good by Medfield. Ooh, I'm up and down here, Mike, huh? I tell you. I'm getting out of breath just watching it. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of work. I tell you, I love watching Cohen play. I mean, you can see him, you know, controlling this flow of the Hillers offense here. He's a strong player, good ball handling skills, doesn't make a whole lot of mistakes. Nice play. Oh, too bad by Hines. Looking for, there's a nice follow-up by Hines. It's fun when you get your own rebound like that at finish. He's a hard-working kid. Earned that, those two points. Three-pointer again. No good by Medfield. Matt Leonard trying to get on the score sheet. Cohen getting some good playing time this tonight and a lot in the second half. Sure. Nice runner down the lane, no good. 
Just about a minute left in the game here. Medfield trying to keep things respectable, and they have. Just had that one third quarter just. Woo! That was pretty. Rock. <laughs> that was Jack pretty. Goodman, four out of five. Oh, almost forced the turnover. Trying to keep it. Sazitsky with a three, no good. Hines with a rebound. Probably can work, work the clock a little bit. Yep. Keith with a nice runner, no good. Jeez, that looked uh, Hines with a nice rebound and yeah. put back and foul was called. Looked pretty clean to me, just to be fair. Yeah, yeah. Especially with 35 seconds left in a yeah, nothing, nothing 23, 23 point lead. Why, why bother? But ref saw it differently. Well, you know, you can't take those fouls home with you, you know. That's true. Mm, tough, tough bounce by Hines. Uh, he's had a good, uh, you know, big game last Friday night against Dedham. He had about six or eight sure. points there. Tonight, another spark tonight off the bench. And he gets, gets his uh, Hiller, uh, Hiller uh, students section uh, erupting on that free throw. Must be have a fan section or something going on for Nick for Nicholas. Oh, that's a pretty good I, size crowd. I wish crowd. I had one of those. I never yeah. had one of those. It's a pretty good sized crowd here for a Tuesday night. <laughs> nice rebound. That might do it. Shouldn't have to be any shot. That's a nice classy thing to do by Keith. Yeah. Brian Keith. Uh, I went to grade school with his mom. A lot of, a lot of Framingham parents in the migrating to Hoppington and there's one of them Brian Brian yeah. Keith had a great game and uh, at the end of the game made a nice classy move by not taking a shot absolutely yeah I mean any, anybody else you know who doesn't love a buzzer beater no matter what time or how the game is lopsided but that was definitely all class well I just want to make sure we again acknowledge our amazing staff John Ritz and Mary Arnaud doing the cameras Tom Dings and Samantha Dings producing and doing graphics Mike Tarosian and I having a good time doing play-by-play. -play. And you're going to be back with uh, Tim on Friday. And we got a girls game. We got girls against uh, Norwell. Uh, I think it's that's who it is. Norwell, yes. And um, again, first time we get to see them. They're new to the TVL this year. Final score tonight at the Athletic Center here. We had a great time. 62 to 48 Pillars. They're five and three uh, overall. Five and two in the league, and uh, we want to thank everybody for joining us, and we'll see you Friday night for the, Her the Hiller girls game, and uh, everyone have a great night.